23 has been a crazy year for me so far. I moved to a new place, got a baby, passed 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Thank you for that. And just finished a four week Power BI design training. But you know what I really, really missed? Doing YouTube videos. So here I am back again, and we're going to start off with a simple but super useful and not that straightforward example on field parameters. So let's get started. Welcome to How to Power BI. My name is Bas, and if this is the very first time for you visiting this channel, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my videos, in which I share everything I know about Power BI. Now let's have a look at this fields parameter trick. Now almost everybody by now knows fields parameters. They let you switch between different fields or different measures. And to set it up, it's pretty straightforward. However, what I wanna do is I want to have an extra button, an extra toggle button that lets you also switch to just the aggregated view. Because with field parameters, you can switch between different breakdowns, but how do you get the overall view where there's no breakdown? Well, that's what we are going to solve in this video. Now, as a starting point, I have this chart over here. And let's first go through the normal steps of setting up that fields parameter. So, where do we go? We have to first make sure that it's selected under the preview options and you need to be on a, one of the more recent versions of Power BI. And then we can select the chart, go here to modeling, and then here we have new parameter. And what we want is a fields parameter. Now, here we can just give it a name. So this is going to be my fields breakdown. And from your data set, from your data model, you can pick the fields between which you want to toggle. Let's say the channel. So I'm going to drag the channel on there and a little bit more down there. We also have the time of the day. And so was it during nighttime, daytime, prime time? And so I'm going to add that one as well. So you can just drag and drop all of the fields which you want to toggle in between on the field section on this drop zone. And once you have done that, then also make sure that you get a slicer, click on create, and there you go. We have a fields parameter, which is basically nothing else than a disconnected table in your data model. Let me show you if I switch it to the modeling view. Then you see, there it is, not connected to anything. And if we select it, you see also the formula that creates that table. Now you see we have here one line for each field. Okay, now if we switch to the data view, there you see the first column is basically how we see the field name in the report view. And here we also have two extra columns, one with the structured reference, so the table name and the column name. And over here, we also have the sorting order. And so to determine the order in which they, for example, show in a slicer. Now in the report view, you see the slicer is already nicely there. And if I select one of the items in that slicer, then nothing happens because we still need to use one of the columns from that field parameter table. Okay, so I'm going to look for that field parameter table. We recall it over here field breakdown. And there we have that first column in that table, which is the only one that was not hidden. And we can drag it over here onto the legend. Okay. Now that gives us a nice breakdown. Perfect. And if I switch here to the channel, then we get the breakdown by channel. Oh, that looks a little bit messy, maybe a little bit too much, but you get the idea. Now, and that's basically it. So you see with these field parameters on, for example, the legend or the access, we can create a breakdown, super useful and quite easy to set up. However, there's no option now to switch to totals. Okay, now how can we do that? Because when we were setting up that field parameter, there was no option. Okay, show me the total option. So what now? Well, now it's time for the trick. Think about it. what happens when you use a field for your fields parameters and you select that field. Well, then the visualization shows the breakdown for the items that are in that field, the unique items. So what we could do is just have a dummy column that has just one item and then use that inside of your fields parameter table. Now, let's do this step by step. Now, first of all, we go to the data view. And here I'm gonna to go to my main data set. Here that is TV advertisements. And then I'm going to add a new column to that table. So new column. Now let's give this a better name. So we can, for example, call this one totals and return, well, just totals. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to have that name of 
how I want to show it later in, for example, the legend, so totals. And then we can go to the fields breakdown parameter that we just created. And here we have to add that new field, that new column that we just created. Now here, I just want to have two options, the time of day option and the all, the total option, right? So the first option, I'm just going to get rid of. That was just not to show you a basic example of field parameters. This is the only option that I want to see, all right? Now here, the sorting number, you can put to zero, one, doesn't really matter. And then we just duplicate that line, okay? So you select the whole row, Alt Shift, arrow down, that duplicates that line, it's a nice shortcut. And then here we give this a new name. So here, this is going to be my totals option. And what do I want to have here? Well, I want that totals column, that totals fields, okay. Now, then the sorting number is going to be number two. And don't forget the comma there in the first line there. Okay, and that's basically it. Press enter and you'll see our fields parameter table nicely update. Okay, we have time of day and we have totals. So now we can go back to the report view. And ta -da, we have two options, time of day and now totals. Okay, I'm going to click on totals. Let's see what happens. And we have no breakdown anymore. We just see the aggregated values over time, which can be super useful when you don't want to have the breakdown and you just want to have this overall view. Now, of course, when you work here with field uh, parameters, it's also a good option to go here to slicer settings and then here selection and then turn single select on so that we cannot have both at the same time selected. Doesn't really make sense here. And that's basically the whole trick. Now, of course, doesn't look super pretty yet. So let's make a few more changes to, well, make this look also a little bit better. And what happens with the other visualizations that are maybe on the same report? Now, as a starting point, I'm going to add right next to it, just a normal bar chart, okay? And then here I want to have a different breakdown, not over time, but I want to have a breakdown, let's say this time by channel. So I take the channel, add it to my visual, and we are looking here at the incremental revenues that we got for our spots. So I'm going to add that one also here to the visualization. Okay, now then we can make it look a little bit prettier. I clean up the axis quickly. So X axis, title we don't need. Y axis, title we don't need. The grid lines and over here the axis itself don't really need as long as you put in the data labels. And maybe we also want to have a little bit extra space there on the left hand side. So max area width here under the Y axis. I'm going to turn all the way to the right. And that's it for now. Okay. Now, what do we want as a breakdown? We want to have, again, that fields parameter. So I'm going to take here fields breakdown, add it here onto the legend. You see at the moment it shows totals. I'm going to click on time of day. And you see also there we have now the breakdown. So you can control multiple visualizations with that one fields parameter, super useful. Okay, now to make it look a little bit better, let's just take all of them, shift them a bit more to the left, just like this. And there are a few changes that I would do over here. So first of all, let's get rid of the titles. So I'm going to select the visuals or one of the visuals, go here to general, turn the titles off. And here I do the same. Now here we have two times the same legend. It's not really necessary. So I'm gonna take that one visual and I'm gonna turn off the light. Okay, now the next thing that we can do is then maybe add a little bit of a background to it. Okay, so I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, put it to the side, then go over here to insert. And then here we have the shapes and let's go for a rectangular shape. I'm going to move it here to the back and make it as big as our visualizations together. Then we go here to style, change the fill, call it to white. And then here for shape, let's also make these rounded corners a little bit less, by default way too much. So maybe four or maybe two even is enough. Okay. Now, then we can go here to format, push it to the back, so send to the back. And when you then deselect it, you see, pops up in the back. That makes it feel like these two charts kind of belong together, right? And then we can also get rid of the borderline of that shape. Perfect. Now the next thing is that we then are missing the title. So let's go to insert, add a text box, and then over here, uh, make it a little bit wider. 
just like this. I'm going to put it here at the top of my chart. And then here we can type in the title that we want for this visual. So here we have the incremental uh, revenues from TV ads. Okay, perfect. Let's make it then also a little bit bigger. And so over here, oh, that's a little bit too big. Maybe 14 is enough. And over here, the font color, maybe a little bit more grayish. And there you go. All right. Now, then we can take the visualizations, resize them, reposition them a little bit and so that it looks a bit better. And we do that for both of them. All right. And then we just have to integrate that slicer there at the top. And here we can switch from a drop down or like a list to tiles. OK, so I'm going to switch the tiles. You see it overlaps a little bit with that text box. So I'm going to adjust the size of the text box, take the slicer again, and then over here, make this look a little bit cleaner. So I'm going to make it smaller. All right. Then we can go to values, make the font size also a bit smaller. All right. And then we can go here to border, turn the border off. And so here I turn all of them off except the bottom one. All right. I think that looks kind of nice. And then resize it until it just fits. And that looks pretty good. Now, the only thing that I probably would still change here is that I want to see all of the channels in one view. So let's go back here to format your visual and then make the font a little bit smaller. And so not alone only for the data labels, but also for the access. And so your values, make it smaller. Then we go here to the Y axis, make it a little bit smaller. And in this way, we don't have to scroll anymore. The scroll bar is gone. Perfect. And that is kind of my final visualization. So now we can switch nicely between time of the day and total. All right, that's already it. You see a nice little trick that you can use with fields parameters that I personally use quite a bit in my reports because it's such a common scenario to switch between different breakdowns, but sometimes you just want to see that total. All right, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below. Now, I want to thank you for watching. And if you want to check out more videos like this one, then just check out these videos over here. Thank you and see you in the next video.